Hi, I'm Michael Joy. Welcome to another reaction video. I want to say up front here, if you're a subscriber or catching this video randomly, just know that this is a mold making video. We make a lot of content here and I'm a professional mold maker. And so you may or may not want to be on this bus if you're interested in some other things. But for the makers out there, get ready. Hi, I'm Michael Joy. Welcome to another mold making video here at Shapeshifters TV. We run several lines of content. This mold making video is going to fall under our manufacturing. Stay tuned for some upcoming videos where we're not just going to be critiquing the molds, we're going to be making some molds. But the critiquing is really useful because I'm not just going to say things to bash people. I'm going to say things that maybe elevate some of the, the content that we see. At least that's my hope. If you see me criticizing heavily on somebody who's not doing a great job, I haven't figured out how to do the workaround around that. I'm um, trying not to make this personal, just about the technique, but sometimes uh, something's being done really wrong. I'll really only call it out if it seems to be a health hazard or something like that, but let's get into it. Clean, cleaner. Look how fast that is. Every one of these machines is set for these mugs. Love it. Metered dispension. This for a rotational casting of ceramic, that mold would spin for the handle. Yeah, one and done. Well, 10,000 and done. They've worked out the stackability because it's all commercial products. I mean, everything's been so thought, thought through. I don't know if this looks like a tunnel kiln. Ooh. getting the glaze off the bottom so it doesn't stick to the kiln shelves. Those kilns will roll through. Some of the tunnel kilns are open. These are decals. I'm trying to talk fast. Instead of hand painting, they put on these decals that fire on at a low temperature. They've jumped all around. This must just be the intro. Yeah, out the frickin' door. That's the thing you don't see with a lot of do-it-yourself videos. You never get to see how it looks when they pack something up. Okay, here we go. This is all extremely precise measurements going into these uh, jigging machines. I mean, wow. Oh, this is pad printing. Pad printing, that big silicone jubbly. <laughs> They'll do different colors. It's a mix of silk screening, and um, just gravity drape casting. Every time that plate goes back, they issue another amount of um, uh, glaze onto it. And it picks up the glaze, drops it, picks up the glaze, drops it. And they can do multicolors and they can do interiors. But if you haven't thought through the scaling of this, it won't, it won't print well. It's neat to see, it's hypnotizing. They can do any pattern. The thing is, is if you hire this company, you have to, you'd have MOQ, which is minimum order quantity of, you know, like 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, because they're doing the tooling, etc. This is why factories, why would you copy another factory? I mean, they already nailed it, unless you can do it for half as much. You see, each one is a different color or a different piece of the pattern. All right, slip casting. He's got a double nozzle filled to at the same time, like a gas pump. Doesn't even turn it off. <laughs> it shows on the molds. Molds are heavy. Oh, shoot. Okay, thank you. Interesting. So they moved the slip cast objects into the factory for glazing and finishing. These look like booze bottles or syrup bottles. You know those collectible bottles if you buy a, a Wachi Wachi of Quavassier. Look at that factory. Diggity dog. Yeah. Yeah. Very ceremonial. Classy. Now what are they going to do? So they're loading this onto the, um, oh, they're finishing it. Wow, that brought the contoured sponging. Very nice. 
This is definitely a thoughtful work environment. The stations are safe and clean. They had hearing protection. Their clothes are clean. Yeah, this is, where are we, in Germany? It's like BMW bottles. Yeah. It's a lot of those. Oh, wow. Yeah, this has got to be for food because they're doing the um, inspections for the interior. What did it say? Oh. It's like an auto body shop. And these bottles just get thrown out. I mean, eventually it all gets thrown out. Get the glaze off the bottom. So the first firing that it goes through is a bisque firing and they may, may or may not have a slip on it. But this is for the higher fire glaze and the, the interior would also be glazed so it doesn't contaminate any food product inside. Do Irish, Irish whiskey. Isn't that a little small? I mean, shouldn't the bottle? <laughs> I'm Irish, so. Wade, huh. Putting on the decals. It's a work of art just to serve the booze. It's like perfume bottles, you know? There's the cost of the perfume, probably not a lot, and then the cost of the bottle, a lot. Oh, it's going backwards. Now we're at the raw materials. Different factory, yep. So he's got those, um, I don't know what you call them, those, those cylinders, those slugs. He's gonna jig them. And you notice that jig's at an angle and the trimming they make, they just shoot it against a bumper. In other factories, they shoot it right into a PVC tube that sucks it up and moves it out of their way. And they have to clean up by hand. Labor's cheap here, so uh, looks, it looks like maybe the Philippines or something. China? You think China? Okay. Uh, yeah, boom, boom, boom. Sanding fast. Wear a mask. She handles that pretty, you know. Look at that uh, drape glazing. It's like a chocolate enrobing machine. This footage is sped up. Uh, some sort of uh, flaw detection for cracking, maybe. Oh, look at that suction deal. Nice. See, factories figure out those little things. Someone's getting tired of doing that. A lot of these factories, you'll see they have green conveyor belts. I was in one factory and I'm like, why is it green? And he said that um, their studies showed that people don't get sick if it's a green belt. Other one out, people get motion sickness. But green, they don't, they don't throw up. Yeah, I didn't know that. What's happening? Oh my gosh. It's gonna be pretty. They make that look so easy. It's like gold leafing, not one wasted motion. If I did that, I'd be like blah, 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 blah. It's not stamping. This is decaling. Those plates are heavy. Did you see how easy she lifted that? That girl's got some chops. She sanded off the bottom just to take the, uh, the kiln wash off the bottom. And look how easy she does this. Maybe it goes to Ikea. Look how, look how easy that goes together for her. I don't know about you, but I can barely get a box open that fast. Boom. Everything is thought out. What? Four. 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 Man, look at her back muscles. Oh, it was six. <laughs> okay. So, 
There's not a lot of mold making context there. It's just fascinating to appreciate everybody's combined thought efforts that make a factory like that move because it's not one person that figured all that out. The decal gals that were doing that, they're like, oh, I need a, they all tune their stations and then something changes and they'd be like, oh, we saw that the people get tired there. You saw the little suction cup things. Not all factories do that. And if you watch enough of these videos, you can see which factories have solved certain problems like that trimming stuff. Another factory solved that, and I don't think that the people in the factories are watching other factory videos because they're just too busy. This is where consultants come in. A consultant will be, have been in many different places and consolidates the information and brings it to other people. It's not that they figured everything out, it's that they've seen other people figure it out and they just are these kind of messengers of information. You don't see the mold making here. This is testament to mold making information is precious, treasured and secret because how these molds are made for production typically is not shown and there's a reason for that because that gives a, a company the edge if their molds are good the quality is good throughout and then the decoration if you let me say it this way if you have a mold of a plate the plate is the plate no matter what but the decals that they put on the plate can change at any time and then they have the same plate on the same line looking good and they just change the color color patterns so you, you follow what I'm saying, Kay? It's the same plate and they just redecorate it. So there's great value in designing something that's um, usable, but it's also important to see how much different manufacturing is in different countries. You saw India, you know, it's a mad dash. And then you see these guys, it's like, oh, it looks like a livable wage here, you know? So I enjoy watching factory stuff. And as some of them go on, um, there's different commentary. This one I just enjoyed watching. It's kind of, they go by so fast, it's hard for me to talk about it. So we did our best. We'll see how it turns out. Send us factory videos if you want to know what's going on. We'll try to do our best. Thank you for watching this video. We're getting ready to launch a new platform called Handufacturing. It's going to feature a lot more educational films about mold making and casting from very basic to advanced mold making. Our hope is that it helps the business entrepreneurs out there learn efficient ways to manufacture their products and bring a lot more wealth into their household. Stay tuned.